ultimately you could say that, that the plan of awakening is the holy instant. Uh, the plan is now. And, you know, for some you could say, well, plan is, is not really a, a now word. But humans do not use the word plan with, with now. We, we associate future with plan. It would not be an appropriate word. And yet, forgiveness is a, is a now plan. And so maybe that whole word plan is mixing us up. And this gets at the time question a little bit too, whereas I think you could start to say that the plan is actually a purpose. It does have a P, it still starts with P, but the plan is a purpose. And that purpose can only fully be accepted now. You can't accept that purpose in the past or the future. Uh, it's, it's interesting to read some of the statements from Jesus. At no single instant does the body exist at all. It is always remembered or anticipated. Oh, that's fascinating. It's pointing us to the now. And it's pointing us to a new purpose, because <clears throat> I know even in other books, like the Urantia book, where they pose the question to Jesus, like, how could you really be happy in this realm, or the realm of time and space, it's, or this planet, it's called Urantia, how, how could you be happy? And it, basically the answer is only through a constant or a single purpose. If you have a single purpose in your mind, you can have a happy, joyful, unified experience of time and space. It's all in the purpose. You notice it's not in the form. Jesus tries to convince us we'll be happier when we have a better form, when we have more money in the bank, when we have a partner or a different partner or uh, some kind of a spiritual achievement or the world starts looking like those old uh, Coke commercials, you know, where everyone's just holding hands and swaying. <laughs> to teach the world. <laughs> big harm. You know, we've got pictures of how people should look. But as long as we're proceeding Earth on the timeline in linear ways, we're missing the point of, of this purpose. 